welcome back to another video if you are new here make sure you hit that subscribe button down below you give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment today i'm going to be going to a black owned ice cream shop it's supposed to be ice cream from trinidad and tobago so i'm expecting the best of quality and i'm going to take you guys along with me so enjoy the ride So this place is called um, Sweet and Sweet and Nice. It's uh, Trinidad. It's from Trinidad and Tobago. I think they do have a location in Oshawa, but they do have a pop-up shop in Toronto for the summer. Um, so that's the location that I'll be going to today, and I'm going to be trying out their ice cream. I don't. I haven't decided which one I wanted. I think I'm going to go for mango, but I'll be highly disappointed if it tastes like that fake mango ice cream. Like I want it to taste like actual mango if I do get it, but. Um, we're almost there. So we have arrived. Um, this is where the parking is. I think this place is called like Stacked. S-T-A-C-T. Um, I think that's the name of it, but yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Look at the nice graffiti, guys. Look, I don't know if you can see that one, the butterfly. It's so nice. So I have my mask on. It's now mandatory that you have to wear a mask anywhere you go in Toronto. So here's the mask. Let me make sure my hair is okay. The sun is like blinding me. I can't even see myself. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Can you guys hear me? Let me know. So because it's a um, pop-up shop, it's almost in like these um, industrial crates. Uh, if you see, it's like this is what the area looks like. But it's like in an industrial crate and then like it's yeah. Okay, so here it is. Sweet and sweet and nice ice cream. I got the um, coconut pineapple and I got the mango. I actually got to try all the flavors they're all amazing um, and I ended up buying like one of each flavor but I bought um, one to hold do you think I should buy one for Risha she told me to buy me a, her a mango but I don't know she didn't want to come so comment down below and uh, maybe I'll get her one mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 if you guys want ice cream, head over to um, Sweet and Nice Ice Cream. It's downtown. I don't know if you can see it. It's somewhere back here, like right there. Yum. Can we uh, take a moment to appreciate these chairs? Look at that. That's so fancy and look over there. I'm almost finished. I'm at the rum and raisin. Okay, so I just finished having the ice cream. It was actually amazing. Um, I did buy more flavors. Um, they have about six flavors, I believe it is. They have coconut. They have coconut pineapple, mango. Uh, is it guava? They have guava um, and rum and raisin, I think it is. So on the cone, I had the rum and raisin and the coconut pineapple, amazing. But I couldn't just stop there. I ended up buying more on the side. Assistant, may I have it please? <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, so 
this one I got here. I got the takeaway ones, but I had the one on the cone. So this one's the guava passion fruit. You know, you gotta support the businesses, you know? So I, I, I bought a lot. Also, I did meet um, one of our Naturally Vinci watchers. Um, he watches our live stream. Uh, I think he said his name was Campbell. Um, and I did take a picture, so I will post that if he's okay with it. But um, this one is a pineapple coconut. Um, let's see. I got the another rum and raisin. The only one I didn't buy in the small version is the um, actual coconut one because I'm like I already got the coconut pineapple. No reason to get another um, coconut. And then I got a big mango. Risha said to get her mango, um, so this isn't for her. Honestly, she can have like one scoop. But um, here you go, Risha. Cheers. Cheers. She, I, I'm telling you right now, she's side eyeing me like. But anyways, um, yes, and then I'm in front of this beautiful area. I guess it's like an industrial area, but it's like modern art type of thing. So like there's this beautiful graffiti that I'm in front of. I don't know if you can see it. Let me step back. So here's the graffiti. There's another one over here. So as you can see, there's lots of beautiful scenery here. The lighting's way better over here. So let's just stay here, honey. But anyways, um, yeah, this is like at the heart of downtown. Um, I did get to talk to some of the workers there. Um, the owners weren't in today, but they did say that the company did start in 1940 in Trinidad and Tobago. And then they ended up, uh, they have a couple of, lo well, they have one location here in um, Canada. And that location was started maybe a decade ago. They said it's in Oshawa. And then um, they also just have the pop-up one that's here till September. So if you are in Toronto, make sure you go and support their business. It's located um, on Bathurst. I can't remember the exact number. It's something Bathurst Street. I think it's 2 Bathurst Street or something like that. Parking is at 3 Tecumseh. Um, so you can figure it out from there. But uh, go and support their business. The prices are affordable and the ice cream is very good. Um, I approve it. You know I'm a foodie, so I approve it. It's good. Um, so make sure you come down here, support their business. They're here until September. If you miss it, go to Oshawa and go get it. It's your fault why you missed it, so make sure you go to Oshawa and go get the ice cream. There's a truck that's here that's ruining it, so I will end it out, um, the video out somewhere else. Um, and see you there. Okay, so as you can see, this is a different day. I'm wearing different clothes, my hair's different. Don't worry about my hair. I'm about to uh, measure my head to get a wig. But um, I have Mama J here, if you see her, she's in the back. Uh, she's gonna be trying the ice cream and reviewing it. So this is the same ice cream that is from Sweet and Nice Ice Cream. Um, Mama J, if you didn't know, this is an ice cream that uh, it's um, Trinidadian owned. Uh, so the people who own the company, they're from Trinidad. They started the company, I think, within, uh, I think it was 1960s, I think. And then they brought it to Canada. So it's a black-owned ice cream shop. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have you try it, okay? So she's yeah. trying the pineapple coconut. So why are you promoting it? Why am I promoting it? Why not? Why not? I feel like... Um, Ice cream from back home from the Caribbean, it tastes a lot better than the ice cream up here. There's something different. You know what I mean? So I want you to try it. Do you like it? Do you not? You look like... Okay, she went back for a second scoop. That's good. It's, um, it's good. It's not can, bad, right? You can definitely taste the flavor. Yeah. Which, which is good. Sounds and like there's um, fireworks in the background. And it's milky. Yeah. Yeah, which is like Caribbean. Yeah. Okay, so that's Mama J's take. She she gives it an approval. So if you guys want to go head over there, you can. I think their main um, location is in uh, Oshawa, um, but they do have a pop up shop in Toronto until December. What? Uh, sorry, not December, September. It's downtown, my Bathurst Street. Okay. Yeah.
that's where I bought it from. And you can also buy it in stores too, like no frills and stuff like that. Yeah, no frills carry them? Yeah. Yeah, you, you can definitely taste the flavor. So thank you for tuning in to this vlog. If you did like the video or you want to see more from our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as make sure you hit the notification bell as well as make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also comment down below if you love Caribbean ice cream just as much as we do um, and which uh, country you like it from the best. Um, I'm going to say, um, sorry to say it, mom, but um, there's an ice cream in Jamaica that I like. It's called um, Devon House. It's, it's one of the best ice cream I've had. But uh, yeah, uh, comment down below what's your favorite ice cream. And we'll see you in the next video. Uh, have a good day. Bye.